Hey everybody, back with Fallout 76 for another one wasteland weapon test. You think I should call it weapon test or weapon review or weapon spotlight? Not sure. I like weapon test because we're kind of testing to see how good the weapon is. So yeah, here we have a gauze pistol. And vampires, 50% more crit damage, gauze pistol. And you can see how I set it up. It's basically all set up for uh, critting or critting things because crits are really good on a pistol build. Especially going on a gauze pistol build. You can get 1,000 plus damage crits with a gauze pistol crit build. No joke. You're really slow, but you can get good damage. Also, Bethesda. This skin. This skin, the special issue paint that you get from Season 2. It's near the end of this season. Um, not exactly the best skin. It's kind of, like, it makes it gray. Which I didn't think it actually did anything at first. And it changes, like, the that lever there. It changes, like, the rubber... Like, covering. It changes that to white, and it makes the magazine gray. And it puts that on the bottom. Kind of an ominous eagle. It looks like something, doesn't it? Something... I hope YouTube doesn't recognize it as something else. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, not exactly... It changes, like, some stuff to white. Not exactly an amazing skin there. I guess because you don't buy it, you, you, know, you earn it through the season. It's not going to be the best, the most amazing looking skin. But yes, back to the pistol itself. Why am I reviewing a Vampire's one? Isn't Vampire's kind of bad on slow-firing weapons? Yes, yes it is bad on slow-firing weapons. You want, you generally, whenever you have a Vampire's weapon, you want it to be on something that's very fast-firing. Vampire's minigun, amazing. You know, Vampire's 50 cal, still pretty good. Vampire's assault rifle, generally okay. Vampire's fixer, good. Vampire's submachine gun, or 10... Millimeter submachine gun. You know, very good. Or you want a very fast swinging weapon, like a vampire's, like, knife. Or, um, you know, something that swings real fast. Things that have a lot of attacks really fast. Because you want to get... The more hits you get, the more chances for our vampire to activate. Because it's not every hit. So, you know. However, I will say vampires is good on nearly every gauze weapon. Even the rifle. Well, sort of, on the rifle. We'll go into that when I review another gauze rifle. The reason is, the new gauze weapons, the gauze pistol, the gauze shotgun, and the gauze minigun, well, we'll talk, you don't really have to talk about the gauze minigun that much with vampires because they already fires fast, but the gauze pistol and the gauze shotgun, they count as explosive weapons. If you fire a gauze weapon at an enemy, you will see two damage numbers pop up. The regular ballistic damage, and maybe another, you know, 30 to 40 damage on, uh, again. That is because it, they are explosive, so that counts as a secondary attack. I believe, you know, I'm 80, like 6, 80, or 90% sure, somewhere around that margin, that that second damage will also activate the vampire's effect. Meaning that... Gauze Pistol with Vampires is not bad, especially whenever you're getting more damage from crits if you have a crit build. And the Gauze Pistol already has really good damage for a pistol. And that is why I put the Vicious Receiver on and not the Hardened. If you notice, I have the Vicious Receiver because that improves crit damage. It's not much, but every little bit in the crit damage helps stack up. Now, I already recorded this because um, I had to delete that because I was shooting at the Gulpers and they were taking no damage. But that's what really needs to fix the servers. <laughs> Like, these servers have been bad since the last patch. And why was my gun not loaded all the way? If you're asking why I don't have the, um... Look, he's taking no damage again. 406 there. Well, if he would take damage, that would have been a lot faster. These servers, ever since patch 23, have been bad. Every time in this game there is one of these small patches that don't add any content, but are just supposed to fix things, they end up breaking more things than they fix. And this time it's been the servers, and it brought back another bug. See, now whenever you inspect your weapon, it does the old freezing bug, which is not fun. Oh, if you're going to do crit with this thing, the first shot will always miss, no matter what, even if you crit, so you have to do the... Well, apparently even the second shot misses. Even if I do crits. And he's not taking damage either. Oh, Bethesda. Eh, 
and 600. That's not too bad. That wasn't a sneak attack crit though. Any more golfers? Oh, there's another one. Just completely unaware while I'm shooting and on un suppressed weapon. There he goes. 442. And just a sneak attack without a crit on him. If you're wondering why I'm in power armor critting, this is a power armor pistol build. It's so... Because... I was never, like... I was never impressed by sneaking pistol builds. Because they just never seem to make sense. Cause, just because how much of uh, perks you have to dedicate to to sneak and pistols that you're like your agility agility does not have enough spaces in order to get all the pistol perks that you need and all of the stealth perks so that's why i never add on stealth pistol builds i just found that you know this is what i went with yeah you know, i have 14 i went with you know all three gunslingers packing light and gun food i, I probably would change packing light out however i'm carrying a lot of pistols on me like eventually whenever this builds because this build's not fully complete whenever it's fully complete i will change out packing light for probably either modern renegade or adrenaline so yeah we'll go test it on the hermit crab now <laughs> if if it wants to take it in okay here we are at the hermit crab hopefully the he actually wants to take damage unlike the golfers See. Fire it right at your front. Oh, yeah. What is his weak spot? Is it the head? Like, look. Why is it a crit miss? I don't get it. You can do that to build up your crits. Even though, do not do that regularly with a God's Pistol. It will break it. Yes, do not spam the trigger on the gauze pistol. It breaks for some reason. Because watch. Here, I'll do it. Now oh, look. You see he's now stuck in a half-charged position. The character's hand's there. And what? And I'm going to press the reload button. Pressing reload. I don't know if you can hear it. Nothing. There's also no... It, for some reason, it just if you spam the gauze pistol, it just breaks. You have to put it away, and then you can reload it, and it goes back to normal. And if you're also asking why I don't have the drum magazine on, I don't think the drum magazine's worth it. It barely adds any ammo, and this is a slow-firing weapon. Why do I need a drum mag on something that I have to charge up? Look how slow this fires. Why would you need a drum mag on this? Pointless. Drum mag's pointless. If this thing was like a submachine gun, like a gauze machine pistol, yeah, go for the drum mag. There's no reason, but not to. But for how slow it fires, drum mag's not worth it. Save yourself the gold. Or if you have a bunch of gold and you're just looking to get stuff, I mean, go for the uh, drum mag. Alright, so here are Super Mutants. Hopefully there's... they're there. I have to ask, whenever you watch one of these wasteland... One of these weapon tests of any YouTuber, do you prefer when they do the same enemies every single time? Or do you want them to do different? you want me to do different enemies each time? You know, is it boring seeing the same enemies killed every time? Or, you know, do you think that, you know, switch it up every now and then? Because I know I switch it up for the melee. Whenever I test a melee weapon, I always go for, uh, usually, um, you know, the super mutant behemoth. Three fifteen on a headshot's not bad. That's a lot of critical. I think I gl oh, the counter looked the uh, charge up counter there looked like it said one nine one nine instead of just ninety nine. Hello. <laughs> Overlord, he almost won it. So even without Modern Renegade, we're crippling these guys' heads and like, 
every shot. Oh, you're a gladiator. Gladiators are new. They were added with one wasteland. I need to let the... That recharge. If you're asking why I have a power armor crit build, I like you're probably like, isn't that just going to eat up all your um, <laughs> fusion cores? Yes, yes it does. But that's the only downside to this build. It's like, oh, I need fusion cores. Just go take two of the power plants. You can have like 20 in an hour. You don't have to worry about people taking your power plants that much. 782. I mean, on Xbox, barely anyone fights in 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 uh in the workshops. I mean, you'll find it every now and then. Like this year, I've probably been atta I've been attacked more recently. I would say recently, people a lot more PVPers have come back to the game. Just something I've noticed. However, generally, you can go take two of the power plants and get a bunch of fusion cores very easily. I love that, like, just... I love that perk, it's just like, oh, you killed something. Well, guess what, now it explodes. For no reason. Is that a thousand damage crit? I think it was. It might have been. I don't know, you'd have to pause it. You can get thousand damage crits with this thing. Alright, that was very fast. That only took three minutes. Alright, Vampire's God's Pistol. Perfectly able to be used any situation except maybe boss fights. I'd still say the gauze wet the gauze pistol is not very good in a bo boss fight just because how much damage resistance. I don't think any pistol is really good in a boss fight just because how much damage resistance and like explosive resistance um, most of the bosses have and just how slow you fire. And, I mean, I've brought this thing to an Earl fight before, I've brought revolvers to an Earl fight. I don't really know what pistol I'd bring. I mean, unless you're going like pure stealth and like can, like never have to worry about like actually being seen. Oh, hello, legendary. Oh, oh, good thing it's weightless. All right. Yeah, gauze pistol, vampire's gauze pistol with crit damage. It's good. It's not a bad pistol. Because of the crit damage, if you have a crit build already, you can get a lot of good damage out of this thing. And the vampire's effect, you know, keeps you alive with the gauze pistol because, you know, I didn't have to use one stim pack this entire time. And that's with a slow firing gauze weapon. Oh, if you also want to know why I've been doing a lot of pistols recently instead of uh, my berserker stuff, um,. It's because I've just been playing this character. I almost have this build actually complete. I'm so close to getting Strangler Heart Power Armor. I need, think I need like one more one more piece and then it will be completely complete. And I'll, I'll have all four of my builds basically complete. 